Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss the answers to yesterday's Instagram quiz. Question number one, which kidney is taken from a living donor during kidney transplantation? Option A, left. Option B, right. Option C, any. These are the two kidneys. As you can see, the inferior vena cava is closer to the right kidney. So, the right renal vein is shorter as compared to the left renal vein, which has to travel all the way from here to this kidney. Since the left renal vein is longer, it eases implantation during a transplant. This is the reason why the left kidney is preferably taken from a living donor during kidney transplantation. Question number two. The left conatal artery is a branch of the option A, testicular artery, option B, left renal artery, option C, abdominal aorta, option D, right renal artery. Gonadal artery is known as testicular artery in males and ovarian artery in females. Both the gonadal arteries are branches of the abdominal aorta. This should not be confused with the gonadal veins. The left gonadal vein drains into the left renal vein while the right gonadal vein drains into the inferior vena cava. Question number 3. Which of the following is not a risk factor for superior mesenteric artery syndrome? Option A. Obesity. Option B. Abdominal aortic aneurysm. Option C. Celiac disease. We're looking at this picture from the patient's left side. This is the superior mesenteric artery, this is the abdominal aorta, and this is the third part of the duodenum which is running in between these two structures. People who are obese have a lot of abdominal fat. This increases the angle between the superior mesenteric artery and the abdominal aorta, thereby reducing the risk of these two arteries compressing the duodenum. When there is an abdominal aortic aneurysm, the aorta bulges and has a chance of reducing this angle. This is extremely rare, but it does predispose patients to developing superior mesenteric artery syndrome. In celiac disease, there is reduced absorption of fat from the intestine. This leads to depletion of fat here, resulting in a decrease in this angle, making it easy for the duodenum to be compressed. That's why celiac disease could also be a risk factor for superior mesenteric artery syndrome. Question number 4. A 63-year-old male presents with right-sided varicocele and hematuria. He also complains of flank pain on the right side. What is the most likely diagnosis? Option A. Nutcracker syndrome. Option B. Renal cell carcinoma. Option C. Testicular carcinoma. This is what the venous system of the gonads and kidneys look like. Varicoceles are caused by the dilation of pampiniform plexus. The left gonadal vein and the left renal vein are almost perpendicular to each other. So the flow here is pretty turbulent. The increased pressure in these veins leads to dilation of the pampiniform plexus and results in varicocele. On the right side, turbulence is not an issue. This is why varicoceles are more common on the left side as compared to right. In our patient, varicocele is seen on the right side. So, there must be something blocking the venous drainage. In patients with renal cell carcinoma, the cancer thrombi can move through the right renal vein into the inferior vena cava. This causes venous obstruction leading to right-sided varicocele. Nutcracker syndrome presents with similar symptoms but left-sided varicocele. This is because it is the left renal vein that is compressed between the superior mesenteric artery and the abdominal aorta. Question number 5. How many branches of the abdominal aorta supply the GI tract? The answer to this is pretty straightforward. Celiac trunk, superior mesenteric artery and inferior mesenteric artery. So that makes it 3 arteries. I hope this video was helpful. Subscribe to my channel for more quizzes and med videos. Thank you.